Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about how to download and install the PyCharm ID. So PyCharm is a text editor to write the instructions of a Python, right? So first go to the browser. So it is Python is a open source. So just search in the Google PyCharm for downloads so you'll get the website jetbrains.com so just click this one and after that you will be finding two things so here you can see the operating system windows mac or linux and professional and the community so just go to the community and download this click on the download button so it's a open source and directly here exe file will be get downloaded just click on this one and automatically the exe file will be get uh, installed so just uh, select the path where the pycharm should be get installed so I'm not changing the folder and see you can create the desktop shortcut and update path variable this is most important you need to set the path so if you are not checking here so later you need to do it manually so it better you just tick on this checkbox and if you want to get the desktop shortcut you just uh, tick in this checkbox also otherwise leave it and just click next and let it be it's a JetBrains and install so automatically the installation process was started so it will prompt for a reboot so you can reboot the system or you can reboot later so I will reboot it So now go to the start and uh, here, here uh, you can see the folder JetBrains. Click on this one. So here you can find the PyCharm Community Edition. Click on this. So the ID will be opened. So here you can see the new project open and get from VCS. So if you want to write a new programs or new instructions, so just go with the new project and give the project name here. So it will be saved in this location. You can see, see users, some Sandeep, PyCharm projects and here you can see. So I will give it as a sample. Okay. And click on Say I'm taking as a sample project and create so that the ID is open. So here it will be showing the tips. So how can you use the PyCharm effectively? 
so i'm closing this one and here you can see this is the place where you have to write the programs so i will write the instructions here so i'll remove all these things and see print welcome to pycharm idb and after that on the top we will find the play button so this is nothing but a run if you run this one here you'll get the result okay at the bottom you'll get the result so this is a place where you have to write the instructions and this is a place where you have to execute automatically here we'll get the result right so this is the pycharm environment pycharm environment so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding installation process of pycharm feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session sh share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much